Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've been here doing a plan with me or a review. Uh, life has been really crazy so I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't forget my YouTube channel. It's just the fact that I've been working 50 hours a week and I'm when I get home I just want to lay down on the couch and be a potato for the weekend. So unfortunately I'm not having... I wasn't having a lot of time to film but that being said I'm back and I'll try to be consistent with my content and upload videos for you guys um, today it's a little bit different um, video that I'm doing I am reviewing the Whistle and Birch Planner so Stephanie who is the company's um, owner she put a, a post on a, on a Facebook group in Australia saying if anyone wanted to review the planner um, she sent me a sample pack that she has in her store so her Etsy store so I'll link down below the, the Etsy store for you guys so you can check it and this is the sampler pack I didn't get the full um, kit for the full planner but that's okay because this gives you a very good idea of the options you have so when you're browsing her store you're gonna see that she has a lot of options um, for customization and also layouts for her planner and um, this will give you an idea of what are the options what are the layouts different layouts different options um, she has personalization on her planner so if you want to test it I would advise you to get the sampler um, I believe it's ten dollars then Australian dollars for the sample pack I'm pretty sure but um, just double check on her Etsy shop so that being said let's get to it I'm sorry for the light um, the lights not the best at the room that I am but it is what it is so she sent this lovely um, letter saying what exactly uh, are the contents of her planner and the options so you would have a classic sized weekly planner um, her paper is 110 GSM which is the same type of paper the same grammar of paper that I use on my inserts when I print my inserts and um, they're great um, the, the, the ink that she uses is not as black as an Erin Condren for example it's more of a grayish tone so you don't have that stark black and white that you cannot get away with it which is very good so I'm very familiar with the grammature of the paper it's a very nice thick paper but it's not as thick as an Erin Condren um, let me take a step back and say that this review is my honest opinion um, I'm not getting paid to do this I got the sampler but that's it I'm not going to say it's good if it's not my liking so I'm gonna be giving you an honest opinion um, and again you can you know test it out with a sampler pack and choose um, what you prefer Erin Condren at the moment it's super expensive the dollar is not very good for us so if you're looking for a coil bound planner and you want to try a different brand Whistle and Birch is an option um, so you have a 12 month planner um, and you have different you have six or seven you have seven options for layout so you have your horizontal layout the vertical layout um, timed hourly layout family teacher planner layout the study planner and the classic monthly planner um, the colors like I said is a light gray scale with faint lines making it easier to just cover things you don't have to use white out so to speak um, you can customize a few things and others you're gonna pay a fee if you want to customize so the complementary changes that you don't, do not have to pay a fee would be the cover design and the personalization of the daily boxes for the family and teacher planner layouts um, the planner can start on any of the following months which is January April July September or December so you get 12 months um, if you, whatever cho whatever choice you get so if you start from April you get April to April and so on and so forth um, 
the grid um, you get some um, add-ons and you can replace some changes, uh, some pages for example Australian public holidays or you can get a baby records or um, five millimeter grid um, etc. I'm pretty sure that her her website has further information sorry the Etsy shop has further information on this but if you're interested I can put this on the description box below it's a lot of information <laughs> um, she sent me this nice little card and you can feel that the paper is already very good by just the simply note that she sent and she also sent this lovely um, coupon discount um, for anyone that wants to purchase the whistle and budge and you can see the here I'll show you look how beautiful this cover is it's absolutely beautiful so um, it's an option and I think that it's a very good option to consider but let's get to the actual insert so um, you, you can see that the black it's that the ink is not stark black it's a gray scale and these trial inserts belongs to Sam me <laughs> so this again is a bunch of things that may or may come in your sampler pack and the first one we have is let me zoom you out a little bit first one we have is the monthly dashboard so you have this um, this flag here where you can put your uh, monthly um, what you can do as well let's see if I can uh, I'll be doing a plan with me very shortly um, shortly after this video with a monthly I'll probably do a monthly for you guys and I'll also be do using one of the layouts to um, demonstrate how you can use the planner so this is an Erin Condren um, monthly kit from Sadie stickers it's from February as you can see but you can the measurement here you could definitely you can see let me zoom you in you can definitely you can definitely see that you would be able to get away with it so if you line up on the board on the top you will just get a slightly over this but you can just put this um, this washi strip on top of it and if you put down just a little bit you're able to cover this whole um, bit here so it is doable if you have an Erin Condren I mean we all probably have a lot of Erin Condren style kits so you can definitely use this on a monthly dashboard from Whistle and Birch so it's just an example of if you have a little bit of creativity you can still use your stickers on the Erin Condren size to Whistle and Birch so assuming that we are doing this you would cover the whole with the February so you have your lovely sticker here and then you have your month this is September but you have your month um, you still have your calendar here uh, the other thing that I would use with this monthly dashboard um, is I would put a header over here sorry just down the first line a little header and put down notes or your goals or things that you need to remember for that week that month specifically here you can put your goals as well you can just get creative with a marker and or a header and just make sure that you put whatever is um, whatever is relevant to you let me see if I have a header here. but for example I have this courageous studio uh, sheet header sheet so if you use let's use um, let's use little things let's use the little things dark little things so you get it here and you put it down and there you go so you can make it work for you and you put the little things here once you covered 
this so it would look kind of like this so you have your beautiful um, top washi or top cover with the shop that is your favorite and down here at the bottom you can make these um, personalize these as you wish and you still have your calendar here um, for these I would definitely use um, for the three main goals or the three main tasks that you have to use or just as a doodle of achievements you had on your a day on your on your month um, priorities it's beautiful banner of priorities and to buy um, the big things for the month you can use it as like the 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 header is dashboard so it's just something that you quickly can refer to and I absolutely actually um, honestly love the layout the layout is very 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 good it gives you a whole vision of your month in you know without being too um, without being too busy um, the next page would be your just arrange things here next page would be your actually monthly layout so all right so you have here your monthly goal you have important and you have next month so let me get this closer and focus oh, there you go so you have this little um, tab here you have your month with this uh, big flag and you have a Monday to Sunday you have a Monday start um, the Saturday and Sunday they are a little bit darker than Monday to Friday and I think that the purpose is just to demonstrate that it's a weekend um, so you have this sidebar on this side and you can definitely create with a normal sidebar as you would um, with any other kit um, you can also adapt some of this um, Erin Condren layouts or B6 layouts that you have so if I use if I measure this up this would be just on top that wouldn't work but you can use washi you can use washi to cover this up so sorry I'm on my rope <laughs> so I would definitely um, you, I, you can either use this functionally or you can just use washi to cover it up so this this is bloomsicle for example if you have Catherine's washi and you just want to jazz it up I mean September is is spring right so if you wanted to just and this is very poorly done at the moment guys I'm not measuring anything I'm not doing this properly pretty or anything like that but there you go this is a 15 millimeter washi from Catherine uh, from Bloomsicle and you can just put it on your whistle and birch and you can cover things that you the the boxes that you may not use I would probably use these boxes on my monthly but that's me if you don't use it and you don't want that blank space on your planner you can just cover it up moving on the months um, they seem the standard size of boxes um, my own content is not here so I can show but you can use washi to block out the time the days that you're traveling or working or something like that and what I love about this to be honest is the fact that I'm used to a b6 so the b6 is the boxes here are very small so when I look at this size of box I'm like wow that that's big um, the thing is you can use the date covers for example or the date dots and you still have room to put an icon and write down things which is it's really appreciated so you have that space to use this would be an A5 size if I'm not mistaken um, let's go to a month that I didn't use let's go to September so let's make a comparison <clears throat> as you can see the boxes are pretty much spot on I would say that the Erin Condren box is 
it looks bigger but I don't think it is at all I think it's just a matter of the layout um, makes it look bigger but it's pretty much the same size and I don't know about you but my monthly is just for me to look at and move on and refer to instead of actually decorating as much as I decorate my weeklies anyway uh, next um, insert that you have and I have to say the paper is really good guys so we have the vertical layout I absolutely love the fact that an Australian company is doing a layout like this um, I would change a few things um, like I said you can be creative and cover with stickers but I don't like this these boxes on top of the planner so let me zoom I don't like this box on top I much rather this was blank and this this moved up a little bit I really don't like this um, it's not useful for me as a weekly in a weekly planner um, I have go monthly goals I don't have weekly goals I have weekly tasks so for me this this is not what I would I wouldn't use this um, boxes on top I would cover it with washi but then again I have this bottom here that I also don't like um, the bottom as you can see so you can see that there are um, boxes like a weekly sorry a checklist um, style of box and I don't use checklists like this on my planner or my weekly planner I'm a white no white uh, white space sticker a uh, white space planner and this for me is just it, it's a no-no I unfortunately this was um, I was I was upset um, let's say when I saw that the beautiful beautiful weekly layout vertical layout had this um, checklist because if I cover this with washi and then I cover this with washi for me it's gonna be too much but that's that's my style I don't like stickers all over I love stickers but I don't like them all over my face looking at them weekly looking at them daily um, it's it gets too busy for my my eyesight so I, I don't like it um, what I could do with this I would probably have to cover this or you know get in the habit of actually using it <laughs> actually using this um, but if I could change one thing on the layout it would be that and I would definitely change this as well I understand maybe why um, why Stephanie chose to put the checkbox checklists here but I would definitely prefer if it didn't have the checklists but that being said again washi so if you put this washi here and then you can just get creative and beautiful 20 millimeters from Karine from Bloomsicle and you just wipe this baby up and you put it there and end of the problem so you do this and then you can come up with this one on top or even better you can get the beautiful 10 millimeter on top of it where is the end of my washi all right I'm very very talkative today I'm so sorry about that there we go so this is one of the ways that you can cover the <clears throat> you can cover the checklists if you don't like the checklists on the bottom and just use the normal layout as a, an airing cauldron if you would like to do so 
Oscar Lou. It's an old kit, so you have your bottom washing that would go really well. So that I don't know if you can see properly, but it would give you a let's say would cover here and then you have another 10 millimeters to go so I would use the bottom wash of an Erin Gondren kit and some other washi that you may have at home uh, 10 millimeter washi that you may have to complement the uh, washi from your Erin Gondren kit so you definitely can get away with it you can cover up the whole um, checklist at the bottom if you don't like it like I don't like it so um, so this is my um, honest review about this layout this vertical layout I have to say that it's absolutely beautiful it looks the paper again the paper same grammature but there are two things that I would change this top um, boxes don't use it don't see anyone using it but hey and I would definitely not have checkbox checklists here absolutely not I love my washi I love my the kits that have bottom washi I want to use it I want to decorate it with that and this just kills me if you are a planner that uses a lot of stickers and you have a lot going on in your life absolutely go for it use a uh, use a checklist here, mark your to-do list, your home to-do list or your work to-do list and this would work for you and you have all of this space to you know decorate and do your things but for me it doesn't work. Something that I I like personally, a lot of people might not like but I do, it's the month here so you will, you will have in every page I'm assuming um, the the month calendar and this for me is helpful because sometimes I'm just like what day is today so you can just refer back it doesn't bother me it may bother some people what you can do is put a decorative quarter box here or you can just cover it up with a sticker habit tracker or something like that so this is the vertical layout now next this video is gonna be huge next is the weekly goal and sorry next is the vertical layout and I I like it actually again there is the top bot the top um, goal important and next week boxes a note section on this side and your checklists and your days um, what you could do with this one you could incorporate date covers and you could also use five millimeter washi to um, decorate however you like um, I might try this layout just in case next you have your I think this is the family layout so it's the family vertical layout you have the same context like the same size of boxes Erin Condren boxes on top and then you have smaller quarter boxes below and you have the dinner um, dinner boxes down here which I'm assuming it's the family layout again you have your your calendar overview here um, you can use this yeah I mean for a white space sticker you could definitely um, split this up in different ways so you can definitely um, this is definitely a nice layout to be honest the only thing that not really but um, sorry what I'm thinking is oh I would have to put every time I would have to put my full boxes on the top but now you can just you know rock this up here and covering these two and use everything else if you don't use dinner you just put your full boxes down below fine or you could you know be a little bit smarter and than me and cover the 
the checklist with your full boxes so you have all this space to you know do your thing so that's another layout zoom you out a little bit sorry about that um, next is the hourly layout so hourly are definitely not for me I if Okay, hourlies are not for me for my personal planning, but for my work schedule, I might actually get one of these for myself. Um, I have a very stressful and deadline sort of job. So everything is for yesterday, everything needs to be done as soon as possible. And I've been feeling really that it's been really hard to keep track of all of my tasks. I receive so many emails daily that it's I might actually get a whistle and birch on this layout for my work. Um, that's an option because here you have you can put your meetings or if you have children you can put you know doctor's appointment daily um, daycare times teachers and parent meetings and stuff like that and you are left with all of these for notes and you have your weekly banner here. I have to say, when I received this, I did, I did not like this because hourly is not me. But now thinking on a workspace, this might actually be a wonderful choice if you have a job that demands you to take 500,000 notes every single day and you have to have a visual weekly layout. You have to have a visual of your week on important deadlines, important dates, when you have to serve documents, etc, etc. I am very pleased with this. And you can decorate this, yes, if you are using this for personal, um, if this is your style, you can decorate it. But for me, I would decorate it very badly. This would be actually just scribbles, just my handwriting maybe a highlighter or two, but this would be great for work. Okay, this is the school or study layout. Study planner layout, I think is what she, she calls it. And I actually really like this one as well. Um, it has this um, Hobonichi feels, but it's not like tiny. Um, the layout looks very similar to the Hobonichi. So you have your Mondays, you can put your um, your weather trackers here for example um, and you have all this space to write down and then you have this um, grid this lined area so you can put a full box here or a decorative um, sticker here and you can write down your tasks on this side or your to-do lists and then you have the grid um, the dot um, la the dotted part to doodle or you know to decorate as you will so this is a very good student layout and then you have sorry I think this is the teacher yes this is probably the teacher planner which would be great for a teacher but I, I think this is a very good it looks very good um, I'm sure that teachers would appreciate something made specially for them um, and this is probably the planner the student planner one which is or the family I don't know I'm confused <laughs> now this is the, 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 the student one because um, you can just put down your um, schedule for school and what not and what um, essays you need to uh, handle when you need to handle these essays what classes you have that day and you have your Friday and your weekend is just two boxes because I'm assuming that as a student you don't need you know three different times of the day for Saturday and Sunday you just want to rest or finish your school uh, homework for Mondays but um, yeah you you want to rest here if you're a student. I would. <laughs> um, you can cover this with bottom with washi as well. I'm assuming. I think this would be um, the case if I was using this one. So um, after talking for almost an hour, I think um, this is my review for the whistle and batch. So to make it um, short and simple, I like it. 
the paper is very good it's not as thick or as textured as the Erin Condren um, the layout is definitely similar but not exactly you will need a little bit creativity to make it to make use of it if you want something as specific as an Erin Condren the paper is absolutely wonderful it's the same paper I use personally for my inserts I print my own inserts so it's a good quality paper and it's starky white and all from all of the layouts I have to say I really like all of the layouts they are very functional but I would change a few things if I was making my own planner that being said it's a great alternative to the Erin Condren. You can make it um, happen with a whistle and birch using your Erin Condren um, kits. So if you want an affordable option that it will not cost you, you know, 30, 40 Australian dollars for shipping and that will keep the quality and it will also you will also be able to use your stickers I would definitely recommend Whistle and Birch I would say that you have to do your research on the layouts you have to see what works for you and what you can make it work um, so you don't so you're not disappointed if it's not exactly what you expect so do your research watch videos get the sampler pack get the sampler pack, get the trial pack and use it, make it work for you, see what you can do with it um, and try out an Australian shop. I would definitely, definitely recommend. Um, I love the monthly layout, this is one of the highlights for me and I have to say that I also absolutely love the hourly amazing as it is the hourly would work really well for me at work um, so I definitely recommend and I'm really happy I was able to do this review please stay tuned as I'm definitely going to be making plan with me's using all of the almost all of the layouts that I showed you on this video I think this has potential it really really has a lot of potential and I'm really happy that I was able to um, get my hands on this and make a review for you guys. Um, so I'll link Stephanie below, I'll link the shop Whistle and Birch below and I will also try and make a quick um, description of all of the layouts that I showed you here. So thank you very much for staying with me. I'm sorry this was very rambly but it is what it is. So have a lovely weekend, have a nice day and I'll see you on my next plan with me. Bye!